I think it's safe to say at this point, this challenge has forever changed my life. But is that a good thing? No, I'm freaking beat, my boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the start of a video I have honestly been dreading to film. I'm going to be living like an early bird for the next seven days of my life. Now, you might be saying, stop being a little baby, this challenge isn't even that hard. I wake up early every single day. Well, all I can say is, you're a better man than me, let me tell you. Ever since I was a child, I've always been a night owl. I stay up working till sometimes 3 in the morning and sleep in accordingly, and it's been working great for me. So, why even try this? Well, studies have found that the peak of your sleeping time should be around 2 to 4 a.m. And when the peak of your sleep hits at, let's say, 6 or 7 a.m., that sleep you're getting in turn is going to be less restorative as a whole. So, simply put, you are not sleeping as well. And that leads us to to today, where I'm either gonna be a changed man that feels super energized and happy, or not. Good morning, sunshine. Freak, you can't even see me. Oh, gosh dang it. So it's day number one. I'm already regretting the freak out of this challenge, bro. It's like one of those things, like the night before when you get that spell of motivation, you're like, I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And then your alarm goes off and you just do not do any of the stuff you talked about. That's how I'm feeling right now. Really, the only reason I'm awake right now is because I'm doing this video. I got some things I gotta do today in order to get my body on this time track. Oh, and I have to go work out. Holy in order for me to complete this challenge, I'm about to get my circadian rhythm, is what it's called, in check. Basically, your circadian rhythm is just the thing that tells you when to wake up or start being energized for the day and when to get tired or go to sleep at night. It basically is your internal clock regulating everything you do and everything that gets released in your body. Long story short, a few ways that I'm gonna be trying to get my circadian rhythm in check with this new system that I'm gonna be running, this early bird system. The most important thing is getting bright sunlight at the very beginning of the day. So right now, when you first wake up immediately once you wake up you want to do that no matter if you're on your normal time zone whatever it is get bright sunlight in your eyes immediately upon waking up so that's what i'm doing right now it is cold as a mofo you can see in the freaking reflection on me dog there is so much snow out here but this is what's got to be done i'm gonna be out here for like five or so minutes then i gotta work out hey, it is a beautiful day though i will say look at nature it smells great nice blue skies we can't complain Holy frick, I'm done. I literally was this close to throwing up. I don't know what it is. We made it through regardless. I'm so glad I'm done with that. It is kind of nice getting it done already, but I kind of enjoy, like look forward to my workout every single day. So that's kind of why I like doing it at night. It's like, oh yeah, I get to work out later. You know what I'm saying? Here, it's just like dreadful the entire time. But it's done. I have to go get into all of my hard stuff just now. Like I don't get any time to wake up. I think that's gonna be the hardest part because I like to ease into things a little bit and work till late hours of the night, but not today. Let's go work, baby. Gonna get some work done. So far, for the work I've done, it's so hard to focus, dog. It's so hard to focus. I literally just wanna fall asleep. But I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna just block out my work periods. Very, very effective is just blocking out your work periods. It's a lot easier to to focus on the task for 20 minutes rather than sitting down and trying to complete all of it at the same time makes your brain be like oh, okay yeah this is all right you know what i'm saying i don't like i don't know but like what am i gonna do tonight you know what i'm saying this is normally what i do at night so i don't know it's gonna be interesting but yeah few working periods are complete. I got a good chunk of the work for the day done. It's literally only three o'clock. Normally I'm done working at midnight. So I don't know what the frick I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I just feel so tired. It's like I can't even do anything. So let's get into the late wee hours of the night. It's not really that late, but late for me in this new time zone. Why do I keep saying time zone? I don't know what the frick to call it. Normally this would be like nine o'clock at night for me, but now it's like five o'clock. My focus is not improving whatsoever. So overall, I'm not enjoying it too much. Still too early on to tell because my body's not adapted to it and seven days honestly probably is not enough time for me to get the full benefits of switching but at the end of the day why not just do what your body naturally enjoys doing more because you're going to get the same number of hours in the day regardless working better overall and i still feel good i don't really see a problem you know what i'm saying so that's kind of how i'm feeling right now i'm not going to judge it too much yet though i'm gonna continue this out see how we do and we did not do good just yet mm -hmm. 
Day two, not much easier whatsoever. This freaking sucks balls. This is horrible, bro. I got to bed at a pretty decent time and I got a kind of decent amount of sleep. It's just so hard to fall asleep early for me, bro. Because that's normally the time where I'm putting in all my work. That's when I'm always working out. That's when I'm doing work. So it's like my mind just does not want to fall asleep. But we're here. <laughs> we're here, baby. That's all that matters. I just got to do the same things as yesterday and see if tonight does me any better. I'll give 10 bucks to anyone who can guess what I'm doing right now. I bet you got no idea. Whoa, sun exposure? How the freak did you know that? It's not like I've ever talked about that before ever on my channel. That's crazy. Like if you got that. <laughs> Come on, like and subscribe. <laughs> Another day. 6.30 a.m. My days feel so much longer like this though, I will say. Like yesterday felt so long, bro. It's not like I got more time. It's the exact same amount of time. It's just when it is. Maybe it's because it's lighter for longer at the time. Because normally I'm sleeping through some of the lightness. I'm not feeling great still. I'm tired. I want to sleep. I would love to sleep. Yep, another sun exposure day. Who would have thought? Instant frozen nip every time I come out here. But it really does help a lot, bro. You don't realize how much your body needs sun even during the winter time. And you still do soak up the rays. Even though it's freezing. So it's helpful. It's freezing. But you got to see it through, bro. We gotta look out for our bodies first things first. All right, day number four. I don't know why, but I'm feeling pretty good today. I might look tired and I am a little bit tired. Overall, I'm feeling, I'd say, better in comparison to the last days which is awesome bro that's great that's that's just amazing news maybe i'm becoming early bird i'm just gonna keep doing my same things hope i got another great day ahead of me another day above ground is a great day remember that all right another day I've gotten my sun exposure done i got some sun in my eyeballs my circadian rhythm is kicking it a little bit but still i'm just not feeling as good doing my morning workouts i feel like i'm not working out as hard or anything but you know what it's life <laughs> it's just life at the end of the day another day another dollar i don't even know what day it is at this point six five six something like that no i'm freaking beat my boy i didn't go to sleep as early last night because i was just doing stuff that i had to get done that i couldn't get done which is why i normally sleep in late because i'm the slow mover in the mornings i'm like a little slug a little snail boy so yeah, I was up a little bit later, didn't get as much sleep, but here we are back up at it again at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, but it's going. Last morning, thank goodness. I can't wait to be done with this challenge, dog. This still freaking sucks balls. Almost freaking there. We're finally wrapping up this challenge. I will say, prior to everything else I've said in this video, probably, been a little complainer, but I am starting to get into better routine oh crazy crazy do i like this new routine not really but it is working circadian rhythm is changing and i'm getting more used to falling to sleep earlier so it's crazy it's actually working all right ladies and gentlemen here we are seven days of living like an early bird complete leaving off in the exact same spot that we started in what are the chances of that uh, probably pretty high because i get to choose where i sit anyways <laughs> let's not worry about that let's get into the data for the first few days i got less sleep overall which i kind of expected just because i'm used to falling to sleep late and sleeping in late so my body just thinks that is normal for that but then after i started doing stuff to correct my circadian rhythm and my body started being like we got to start falling to sleep a little bit earlier so we get enough sleep i actually I actually did start falling to sleep earlier overall, getting tired earlier and falling to sleep earlier and actually felt pretty good the last few days. I'm not going to lie, but am I going to continue doing this? Probably not, but hey, who knows at the end of the day, time will tell. If you're not sick of me yet, I recommend watching this video right here where I live a scientifically perfect life for seven days. This is a good one. Subscribe.